United States Marine Corps after graduating from high school. Our next senior is number 31, Miles Rhodes. Miles with his parents, Jody and Randall Rhodes. Activities during high school include football and the National Honor Society. Future plans are to go to college and major in cybersecurity, and then he's going to start a family. Our next senior is number 41. Raul Luna, with parents Raul and Madonna Luna. Activities during high school include working and going to the gym and it shows. Future plans, Raul is going into the military and plans to attend a school for welding. He's going to settle down and start a family. Our next senior is number 44, Logan Shiflett. Logan is with parents Ashley, Funk, and Corey Shiflett. Activities during high school include football, baseball, National Honor Society, and talking to his buddy Brock Cunningham every day. Logan's future plans are to attend a four-year college along with playing football. He's going to get a degree in engineering and then he's going to buy a chocolate lab. Our next senior is number 45, Cody Furry. Cody is with parents Lauren, Jason, Chow, and Brian Furry. Activities during high school include football for four years, and he is a member of the National Honor Society. Cody's future plans are to attend Shippensburg University for a degree in mechanical engineering. Our next senior is number 52, Brock Cunningham. Brock is with his mom, Monica Cunningham, and dad, Daniel Cunningham. Brock's activities during high school are football. He is the vice president of the class of 2024, and then he likes to talk to Logan Shiflett every day. Brock future to graduate from college. He's going to buy a house. He's going to find himself a good-looking wife. He's going to have a daughter named Grace and a son named Brock Jr. He's got it all figured out. And then after that, he's going to win the Powerball. Remember us back here in Greencastle, Brock Bricker. Brock, I'm sorry. Brock Cunningham. All right. Our next senior is number 59, Sean Hawk. Sean is with parents, Crystal and Kenny Hawk. During high school, he played football and ran track. Sean's future plans are going to the National Guard and then attend college at Shippensburg University. Our next senior is number 67, Tate Everly. Tate is with parents April and Rodney Everly. During high school, Tate played football. Future plans are to go to college and get his master's degree. And then at that point, he too plans on making a whole lot of money. And our senior is number 68, Camden Simmons. Camden is with his mom Ashley Holmes and dad Brad Simmons. Camden's activities during high school include football, baseball, and youth group. Future plans after graduation are to go to college, and he plans to become a math teacher. Our next senior is number 71, Lucas Beauchamp. Parents, Vicki and Ryan Beauchamp. Activities during high school include football and track and field. After graduation, Lucas plans to go to West Virginia University, did a degree in environmental engineering, travel the world, and move to a big city. Our next senior is number 75, Parker Funk. Parents Sean and Heidi Funk. Activities during high school include football and baseball. 
future plans are to go to a four-year college and major in sports management, play football, find a job, do something he loves, and settle down and raise a family. Their final senior is number 80, Sal Bandora. Sal's with parents, Gershon Bandora and Miata Bandora. Activities during high school include soccer, football, and basketball. Future plans are to go to college, play football, and major in political science. And this to our 21 Blue Devil seniors. We honor you here this evening for your hard work, dedication, leadership by example, and commitment to Greencastle and to Blue Devil football. Every senior class is different. Every senior class is unique. You have put your stamp on this Blue Devil football program because you have put your team on your back and you carried and led your team through nine games. You are the leaders. This team has been up and this team has been down, yet through it all, you have always brought your team back. And the journey starts over tonight in this game because your season is not over. There can be a next week and there should be a next week. Your legacy needs to continue as you relentlessly pursue excellence, not only in the game of football, but also in the game of life. To our 21 seniors, we are proud of you. We are with you as you continue your 2023 football season. Now, ladies and gentlemen, please stand with me as we honor our Blue Devil football seniors and their parents here this evening. The Green Castle Antrim High School Blue Devil Marching Band is proud to present their 2023 show titled Hope Is, based on Emily Dickinson's poem of the same name. In this poem, Dickinson envisions hope as a strong-willed bird that lives within the human soul and sings its song no matter what. Through her imagery, we are reminded of the power of hope and how little it asks for us in return. Reminded of the power, we are reminded of the power of hope. Our show explores these moving things of hope, and throughout the production, we hear Dickinson's tune without the words, brought to life as a recurring mo musical motif. As challenges and setbacks mount, we must muster our strength against the harshest storms of life. But through it all, the bird song remains and leads us into our triumphant. Conclusion, join us as we celebrate the human capacity of hope and its importance in our lives. This year's band consists of 32 members. The band is under the field command of drum majors Lily Basilic and Colin Stipe. Our future performers are Abby Stauper, Katrina Bennett, Sam Ernst, Maddie Trulio, Peyton Anderson, Joshua Johnson, Alex Mikowski, Emma Cole, Anna Booz, Jenna Harold, Emily Graves, Emmy Stauffer, and Cole Johnson. The Greencastle Antrim High School Blue Devil Marching Band is under the direction of Mr. Peter Vincente, along with Assistant Director Brock Bricker, Visual Coordinator Mike Heckman, and our Color Guard staff consists of Ryan Everly, Kelly Bowder, Jay Wetzel, and Courtney Everly. Our percussion staff consists of Christian Everly, Brennan Reeves, and Quentin Campbell. The music for our show was arranged by Richard Goss and Steve Martin. 
with percussion written by Aaron Hines and Dan Bryan. Drill design by Matt Heckman. The band and staff would like to thank the district administration and school board for supporting our program. And we would like to give special recognition and thanks to the band booster organization that literally makes every performance possible. And as we prepare for this halftime presentation, we dedicate it to our fearless director, Mr. Peter Vincente, on this, his 40th birthday. Happy birthday, Mr. Vincente. Drum majors, Lily Basilic and Colin Stike. Is your band ready? Green Castle Anthem, you may now take the field in exhibition.
on the strangest sea, yet never in extremity it asked the call of me. Once again, let's hear for that outstanding presentation and performance by the Great Castle Anthem Senior High School Blue Devil Marching Band. We would like to offer our congratulations to the Blue Devil Marching Band. Last week, on a cold and windy night at Wilson High School in Reading, the band participated in their first competition of the season, and it was a rousing success. The Blue Devil Marching Band, competing in the Liberty A Division, received first place honors with a score of 84.5. Also, they received high auxiliary awards with the best percussion section and the best color guard in the competition. The Blue Devil Band has spent the summer and fall months perfecting their performance, and they return to action tomorrow for their second competition at the Mannheim Central High School. If you'd like to support and cheer on our GA band, gates open at 4 p.m. and the band goes on around 8.15. Thank you to Lily Basilic for providing the marching band updates on our local radio station, WRGG. Lily's updates titled Inside the Noise can be heard on WRGG 93.7 on your FM dial and you can stream on all of your mobile devices. Stay tuned for times and additional info.
Those with them, a marching band, Lily Band Select and WRGG Radio, celebrating all that's good in the Green Castle and from community. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Cali Field for tonight's Big Ten Colonial football matchup featuring the visiting Greyhounds of Shippensburg against their Blue Devils of Green Castle. Shippensburg comes into tonight's game with a record of four wins and five losses. Coming off a convincing win last week, they were a shorthanded Waynesboro Indian squad by the score of 27 nothing, The Blue Devils are 6-3 on the season, and last week, Dr. Hart fought 34-22 game on the road at Mechanicsburg. Janai Statham led the Grey Greyhound rushing attack against Waynesboro as he churned out 146 yards on 21 carries and a touchdown. Patrick Ever Patrick Eichelberger, Added 90 yards on the ground and two TDs, while Brady Bacheski rounded out the scoring as he fired a 50-yard touchdown strike to Mark Carruthers. Defensively, Shippensburg was led by Caden Schoeps, nine tackles, two pass breakups, and the talented senior added another 109 yards in punt returns. Through the first nine weeks of the season, Green Castle Anthem is generating 300 yards of total offense per game. Led by senior quarterback Logan Alley's 1,117-yard passing. Congratulations to quarterback Logan Alvey as he went over the 1,000-yard mark last week at the game against Mechanicsburg. As I said, his total was 1,117 yards. That goes along with eight touchdowns and a completion rate of 63%. The Blue Devils' top three running backs, all seniors, include Xavier Ramsey, Carter Coons, and Serzano Solomon. They have combined for nearly 1,300 yards and 14 TDs thus far this season. Carter McCauley remains a top receiver with over 500 yards on 33 receptions to go along with four TDs. Defensively, the Blue Devils are led by senior Parker Funk with 78 tackles. Trent Maryland with 76. Logan Shepley check in. Checks in with 64. While J.D. Flynn and Sal Bangora round out the top five with 61 and 44 stops respectively. So the stage is set to wrap up the 2023 regular season. Chippensburg and Green Castle, Antrim, who could ask for more? Tonight's game is sponsored by our friends at Antrim Fleet Services. Antrim Fleet Services, located at 846 Buchanan Trail East, right here in Green Castle, features high-quality repairs and superior customer service. Antrim Fleet Services knows what it takes to keep a fleet running strong, as they, too, have over 22 rock trucks, on the road with over 20 years of fleet ownership and 18 plus years of fleet maintenance. They know how important it is to keep your tractors and trailers on the road because in America, that's what drives business forward. Andrew Fleet Services include state inspections for all types of motor vehicles, full service commercial repair on trucks and cars, full service trailer repair, along with on-site mobile repair service for your commercial fleet needs. Does it sound like Antrim Fleet Services does it all? Well, they do. Antrim Fleet Services is a great community partner and a proud sponsor of tonight's Blue Devil football game. So as we continue with our pregame festivities leading up to kickoff, we invite you to sit back, relax, and enjoy one of our state's greatest natural resources, Pennsylvania High School Football.
Next to the merchandise area, you can't miss it, it's Lizzie's Fruit Truck. Like by popular demand, Lizzie's is here to offer up their incredible ice cream. With many flavors to choose from and for the entire month of October, Lizzie's is featuring their Breast Cancer Awareness Sunday. So what is this special Sunday all about? It consists of soft-serve vanilla ice cream with fresh strawberry infused whipped cream. Finished with their signature pink, pink ribbon. And 100% of the proceeds from this Sunday goes to support breast cancer awareness of Cumberland Valley. Thank you for supporting this great cause. Also, you asked for it and they've got it. Lizzie, Lizzie's Famous Chili. Get your Lizzie's Chili right now while supplies last. Because in typical Green Castle lingo, when it's all, it's all. Many thanks to Lizzie's, a proud supporter of the Green Castle Anthem community and of Blue Devil Athletics. Special thank you to Lumberjack for their sponsorship of the Senior Tributes. The Senior Tributes, which appear in the game program each year, they're kindly underwritten by our friends at Lumber Direct. Thank you to Lumber Direct, proud partner of Blue Devil Football. And a big thank you to the Green Castle Sportsmen's Association for their support of Blue Devil Football. The sportsmen graciously provide their facilities for the GA Quarterback Club's annual tailgate 200 drawing, the next drawing, Saturday, January 27, 2024. Many thanks to the sportsmen for helping the quarterback club make this event possible. Blue Devil fans, on your feet, are you ready? We got game number 10 of high school Blue Devil football. Once again, Blue Devil fans, are you ready? Let's bring on the 2023 Blue Devils of Green Castle Anthem on this very special senior night. Now let's welcome the players, coaches, cheerleaders, band members, and fans from Shippensburg. At this time, once again, would you please stand? And we ask the gentlemen to remove your caps as we honor America with the playing of our national anthem. Thank you once again for the award-winning Green Castle Anthem Senior High School Blue Devil Marching Band. Thank you. 
Captain's reading at the center of the field for the coin toss first for the Greyhounds, 13, Caden Shoup. 33 is Everson Weller. 79, Landon Carball. 85, Cody Rock. For the Blue Devils, number one, Logan Alvey. Six, Garrett Blueball. 44, Logan Shiplett. And 75, Parker Funk. Funk. Captains are joined by our seniors here this evening. Chippensburg has won the toss. They're deferring. Greencastle Anthem will be receiving to start the football game. They will be defending the end zone to the east. Taking off the Greyhounds 51 at 7. You can receive number 8, Serzano Solomon, along with 26 at Trent Merrillac. Kick off sales into the end zone for a touchback, first and ten for the Blue Devil. Xavier Ramsey, the ball carrier. Initial contact on the play by 13, Caden Shope. Game of about a yard on the play brings up a second and nine football resting at the Blue Devil 21 yard line. That's number five, Carter Cruz. First down, Blue Devils. Stop being on the play by seven, that's Jaden Hines. 31st and 10, Blue Devils football is at the room, 31. Head off to 45, Cody Furry. I run good for five yards, second and five Blue Devils. Austin Bank on the tackle. Head off to Carter Coons. Eighty-five thirty runner on the tackle. Game three yards on the play brings up a third and two. Football is at the Blue Devil thirty-nine yard line. Twenty-five 
26, Trent Merrill at the ball carrier. Stopping on the play by 51, Timothy Garvin. No game on the play, fourth down, Blue Devils. Andrew Barry's punt down for the Blue Devils by number six, Garrett Blueball. Greyhounds start their possession first and ten from their own 21 yard line. And out to 22, Makai Dignay. Fine effort on the play for the Blue Devils, 87, Connor Rennekamp. No gain, second down. Eight minutes on the reception. Serzano Solomon defending on the play. Gain of six yards is going to bring up a third down and four. Football plays down at the Greyhound 27 yard line. Do need the raw carrier. Stop being on the play by 64, Jeremiah Fogel. Play results in a Shippensburg first down. Football plays down there, 31 yard line. Dignity once again with the football. Shall be on the play by Trent Merrillat. First and 10, Shippensburg from their own 47 yard line. Trusty's pass falls incomplete. Number seven, Blake Miller defending. Dignity. Game three yards of the play, initial contact by Raul Luna. 
Brings up a third and seven football resting on the midfield strike. Good game once again with the football. Some in the play by Jeremiah Fogel and Sal Bandora. Fourth and four for the Greyhound. Number five, Carter Coons on the punt return. Stopping on the play by 54, that's Drake Wagner. Blue Devils start their possession first and 10, just inside the 25 yard line at the 24. Penalty flags on the play. Dead ball, foul, false start to call against the Blue Devils. Complete the number 11, Carter McCauley. First down, Blue Devils. <laughs> 16, Donnie Noring on the stop. The ball plays down to Blue Devils, 43. And off to number two, Xavier Ramsey. Initial contact by 51, Timothy Garvin. No gain on the play, second down. Is complete for number eight, Suzano Salmon. First down, Blue Devils. <laughs> 16 by Mori on the tackle. Football inside Shippensburg territory. Place down at the 43 yard line. Logan Alley's complete pass to Cleveland once again. So Zalo and Solomon for the reception. Terry Renner on the tackle. Gain of seven yards to the football to the Greyhound. Greyhound 30 yard line.
Congratulations on our song in the ball carrier. First down, Blue Devils. Come in the play by number seven, Jaden Hines. Football plays down as a Shippensburg. 24 yard line. They're going to have these pass complete penalty flags on the play. Ball start the call against the Blue Devils. After the penalty is assessed, it'll bring up a first and 15 from the 29 yard line. Thirty flags once again. Good ball foul for start. Once again, the call against the Blue Devils. Number eight is Ohio Solomon with the football. Solomon on the play by 13. That's Caden Shope. Caden 12 yards on the play brings up a second and eight. Football is at the Shippensburg 22 yard line. He's pass intended for McCauley, falls incomplete. Third down. That pass falls incomplete. Fourth down. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. Andrew Bowers in to attempt a field goal. This will be from 39 yards out. Field goal deflected at the line of scrimmage.
Shippensburg starts their possession. First and ten from their own nine yard line. Five out, Shippensburg. Each week at halftime, we announce the effort and trust player of the game from the previous week's game. The player of the game will receive a special tribute for this honor, brought to you by our friends at Everton and Trust. Conveniently located at 518 of Anthem Way, right here in Green Castle. Let them develop a game plan for your money for bank banking done your way. Visit the winning team at Everton and Trust. Everton Trust, the proud partner of Blue Devil Football. And as play resumes, first and ten, Shippensburg at their nine yard line. And off the number 10, Mark Brothers. Some of the play by Logan Shiflett. Pick up the three on the play, brings up a second and seven. Brothers once again with the football stop made on the play by number 11, Carter McCauley. Gain of one on the play brings up a third and six. Football marked down at the Greyhound 13 yard line. Initial contact on the play by 75, Parker Funk. That is 64, Jeremiah Fogel. Fourth and ten coming up for Shippensburg. As the clock winds down on the first quarter of play, score tied, Green Castle after zero, Shippensburg zero. The Green Castle Antrim High School peer leaders are proud to present a special message tonight as we cheer on our Blue Devils. This week our peer leaders have asked our high school community to team up and support one another to live a lifestyle free from drugs and alcohol abuse. According to the PA Overdose Information Network, the battle against overdoses remains critical. In Franklin County alone in 2022, police agencies responded to a staggering 94 overdose incidents. Within those 94 cases, 23 lives were tragically lost. In 43 cases, victims were treated with Narcan, resulting in 41 fortunate survivors. To remind our students about the importance of a drug-free lifestyle, AC&T has partnered with the peer leaders. Every high school student at our game tonight was given a pair of red sunglasses. Red Ribbon Week is more than just wearing these red sunglasses. It's about raising awareness, honoring those affected by substance abuse, and pledging to make a difference. Tonight and every night moving forward, we're inviting our entire community 
to join us in this cause to take a collective stand against drug misuse. Let's do a big enough fight against drug misuse by wearing our red sunglasses proudly during this football game. Thank you, ACNT, for your support as we team up together. We can make a difference. Thank you. And on the two, Xavier Ramsey. Somebody on the play by 15, Elijah Bailey. First down, Blue Devils. And off to 45. Cody Faree. Damn five yards on the play. Saw me on the play by 13, Caden Shoot. Number two, Xavier Ramsey, the ball carrier. Cody Winter won the stock first down, Blue Devil. Football plays down at the Greyhound 20 yard line. Timeout, Shippensburg. Play resumes first and ten for the Blue Devils. That's 45, 33, the ball carrier. Somebody will play by 51, Timothy Garden. They have two yards, second and eight for the Blue Devils. Pitch out to find Carter Coons. Saw made once again by 51, Timothy Garvin. Gain of two yards, brings up a third and six. Footballs at the Shippensburg 16-yard line. The number 11, Cody McCauley from 16 yards out, touchdown to the goal. Andrew 
you now get your point tickets up and good. Making the score drink cancel and from seven, shipping for zero. Keep your receiver to kick off 13, Caden Shoup, 7, Jaden Hines, Andrew Bowers in the kick for the Blue Devils. with the kickoff return. Stop there by a host of Blue Devil Defenders, led by 31 Miles Road. Football plays down at the Greyhound 26-yard line. They're beginning their possession from their first and 10. Penalty flags on the play. Legal proceeds with a call against Chickensburg. And off the 45, Patrick Eichelberger. Hustle pump on the stop. Gain of seven yards on the play, brings up a second and eight. The ball's at the 28 yard line. Flags on the play, Echo Burger, the ball carrier. Trent Merrill out on the tackle. Personal foul face mask penalty to call against the Blue Devils. And so the penalty is assessed. It's going to bring up a first and ten. For Shippensburg from their own 49 yard line. And off the six in I Stadium. Check the Maryland on the stop. They have four yards on the play, second and six. Football into Blue Devil territory, resting at the 47 yard line. And off the 45, Patrick Eichelberger. 
stop made on the play by seven, Blake Diller, along with 44, Logan Shiflett. Gain of three yards on the play, third down and three for the Greyhounds. Berger, the ball carrier, first down, Shippensburg. Stop eight by Parker Funk. First and ten. Football at the blue level 40. Staying with the football. Somebody on the play by number 80, Sal Bandora. Gain of four yards, second and six. Football is at the Blue Devil, 36. Burger stood up at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. Third down and six coming up for the Greyhounds. Jesse's pass and play to Aiden Mentor. Stopping on the play by number seven, Blake Diller. Fourth down and three coming up for the ground. Taking the ball carrier. Stop short of the line today. Whatever take over possession of the football. First and ten. Yes, outside the road, 30 yard line at the 31. And off to Xavier Ramsey. Driving on the tackle. Game four yards on the play, second and six. Football's at the Blue Devil 35 yard line. And up to 26, Trent Merrillac, first down, Blue Devil.
15, Elijah Bailey on the stop. Football out to the Blue Devil, 42 yard line. And off the 45, Cody Furry. Picks up four yards on the play. Penalty flags on the play. Dead ball foul. Procedure penalty to call against the Blue Devils. Today we celebrate Race for Education night here in Greencastle. At this time, can we have all of our primary and elementary students who are participating in the Race for Education halftime recognition please gather by the entrance to the end zone of the football field that is nearest to the primary building. Parents, please wait with the volunteers off the field. We ask that you do not stand near the entrance of the field to enable the students to exit in an orderly and safe manner. Thank you. And off the number eight, here's on there, Solomon. Stop by a host of Simmonsburg defenders, led by number five, Mick Scott. Gain of two yards on the play brings up a third and nine. Football's at the Blue Devil, 43 yard line. Complete. Xavier Ramsey on the reception, first down, Blue Devil. Stop on the play by 16, that's Donnie Murray. Play penalty flag on the play. <laughs> Pass interference to call against Shippensburg. Pass and play to number 11, Carter McCauley. Once again, penalty flags on the Shippensburg sideline. Dead ball foul, personal foul to call against Shippensburg. After the penalty is assessed, first and ten for the Blue Devils football plays down at the Shippensburg 11-yard line.
And off the number eight, there's on there, Solomon. Initial contact with the play by 13, Caden Shook. Gain of a yard on the play, second and nine. Football resting at the 10 yard line. Point kick is up and good, making the score Green Castle Anchor 14 Chippensburg 0. senior cheerleaders, along with the parents of the senior athletic training interns, gather by the gate at the end zone to the west, closest to the concession stand. Thank you. Andrew Bowers kick off. Goes into the end zone for a touchback. Once again, can we have all of our primary and elementary students for participating in the Race for Education halftime recognition. Please gather by the entrance to the end zone of the football field that is nearest the primary building. Parents, please wait with the volunteers off the field this will enable the students to exit in an orderly and safe manner. Thank you. Come on, Come on, the Chelsea's pass intercepted. And under six, Dan Blue Ball. Pitch down the road. is up and good. That makes the score green castle away from 21, Chippensburg 0. Show for the kickoff return, stop made on the play by twenty six, Trent Maryland. First 
and 10 for the Greyhounds. Football plays down at their own 32 yard line. Head off the number 10 mark for others. Picked up on the play by 41, Raul Luna. Gain of two yards, second and eight. Football is at the Greyhound 34 yard line. Brothers once again the block there. Stopping once again by number 41, Raul Luna. As the clock runs down the first half of play, score from Kelly Field. The Blue Devils of Great Castle Anthem 21, Chickensburg Zero. This time, ladies and gentlemen, may I direct your attention to the end zone to the west as we recognize and honor our senior cheerleaders and senior athletic training interns. First, the senior cheerleaders. First, we have Emily Crutzer. Emily is with parents, Taryn House and Matthew Kratzer. Emily's activities during high school include National Honor Society, Spanish National Honor Society, Executive Student Council, Big Buddies, and cheerleading. Her future plans after graduation are to attend West Virginia University for nursing, settle down in a big white house, raise her family, and help others along the way. Next, we have senior Emily Grove. Parents, Mitzi Grove and Ryan Grove. Emily's activities during high school include cheerleading, yearbook, and volunteering at the food pantry. Future plans are to get a degree in interior design and then she's going to move to New York City to open her own interior design firm. Our next senior cheerleader is Callie Hall. Callie with parents Ruth Ann and Brett Hall. Activities during high school include cheer, symphonic band, county band, the Tri-M Music Honor Society, National Honor Society, Franklin County Youth Leadership, and Dance. Callie's future plans are to attend Shippensburg University and major in elementary education, start a family of her own, and get her dream doll. Our next senior cheerleader is Brooke Smith. Grew up with parents Morgan McDonald and Grant Smith. Activities during high school include cheer captain, big buddies, and student council. Brooks, future plans are to attend a four-year college and become an early childhood teacher. And our first athletic training intern, Elena Shank with parents Carolyn Adam Shank. Activities during high school include athletic training, 
Big Bodies and Career Tech. Elena's future plans are to go to college to get an associate's degree in occupational therapy and work in pediatrics. In her final athletic training intern, Catherine Sollenberger. Catherine with parents, Carolyn and Stan Sollenberger. Activities during high school include throwing for track and field, softball, I-117 Community Action Group, snowboarding and yearbook. Catherine's future plans are to go to a four-year college and major in labor and human resources. With this degree, she hopes to go into something DEI-related, also hopes to travel and maintain meaningful relationships with people she has met and the people that she will meet in the future. Ladies and gentlemen, it's with very mixed emotions that we honor our senior cheerleaders and athletic training interns here this evening. Some of our cheerleaders have been cheering since they were young girls, and the thought that this is their final home football game is truly surreal. And our athletic training interns, they have incredibly been committed to the Blue Devil program. Your dedication and professional manner will be missed. On behalf of the entire Blue Devil football family, we recognize you here this evening as seniors. You have raised the bar of excellence for classes to come. Please join with me as we honor our very special seniors and their parents. It's a great night to be a Blue Devil. Thank you. And now, ladies and gentlemen, this is a great night here at Kelly Field as we recognize our primary and elementary students for their participation in Greencastle Antrim's annual Race for Education. And now let's cheer on our kindergarten students. Once again, PTO volunteers, please send out to the field our kindergarten students. There we go, we need Mr. Carly to show them the way. How about these kindergarten students? And now let's hear it for the first graders. Stop kindergartners, stop, there you go, please. And now let's keep it going for the second grade students. Now let's cheer on the third graders. And how about those fourth graders? And let's hear it. Finally for the fifth graders. And now everyone, are you ready for the big announcement? As of today, as of today, our primary and elementary students have raised a total of $56,699 towards their goal of $85,000 for their schools through the Race for Education. Once again, everyone, let's hear it for all of our students for their participation in making the Race for Education a success. 
keep up the great work and remember it's not too late to donate thank you again everyone thank you Please, please welcome to the field the Shippensburg Area Senior High School Marching Band. The Shippensburg Band is under the direction of Morgan Fike, Assistant Director Amy Jones, Star Directors Cassandra Fogelsanger and Jay Golden, and Unicorn Coordinator at Oxford Alma Destroyer, Bailey Milne. This year's show is entitled Wrath and Redemption, Featuring trumpet soloist Gracie Hicks on Puccini's Nesson Dorma. The show was inspired by the predictions and stories of Doomsday. The show was written by Luke McMillan and compiled some music of Mozart, Puccini, Beethoven, Chessie Pop, and Verdi. Please sit back and enjoy our show. Drum majors, Zachary Barber, Lyric Williams, and Avery Mankemeyer. Is your band ready?
Let's hear for that outstanding performance by the Shippensburg Area Senior High School. There we go. Once again, let's hear for that outstanding performance of the Shippensburg Area Senior High School Greyhound Marching Band. I knew there was another movement. Uh, a set of keys have been found. They were up where the parents gathered to bring the students for Race for Education, if you're missing a set of keys, they're in the press box. This time, may I direct your attention to the 50-yard line for a very special presentation as the Blue Devil Quarterback Club president. Sean Funk presents Rod Roberts with this beautifully engraved plaque to show our appreciation to Anthem Fleet Services 
for being our game sponsor here this evening. Let's hear it for Rod Roberts and the fine folks at Anchor Fleet Services for their support of Blue Devil Football. Continuing with our 50-yard line presentations, we would like to welcome Chris Yoder from Mama K's Buns. On Saturday, October 7th, Mama K's graciously offered their soft pretzel Saturday as a fundraiser for the Green Castle Anthem Quarterback Club. 25% of the soft pretzel sales, along with monies received from a donation bucket, would all be given to support the quarterback club. We are honored beyond words to have Chris Schroeder here with us this evening, along with a very oversized check from Mama Kay's in the amount of $1,134.50. Thank you, Chris, for your kindness and your support. Mama Kay's Buns, homemade goodness fresh from the oven and a proud partner of Blue Devil Football, we thank you. She may have brought along Mr. Yoder. You're welcome too. Thanks everyone. And thank you for supporting Green Castle Antrim Blue Devil Football. That was a full hand. Very special thank you to f &M Trust for sponsoring the Player of the Game Award. The f &M Trust Player of the Game for the last two weeks are as follows. The Player of the Game from the Gettysburg Game is Xavier Ramsey. And the Player of the Game from last week's Mechanicsburg Game is Garrett Bluebaugh. Congratulations to Xavier and Garrett for being selected as the f &M Trust Players of the Game. They will receive a special tribute for this honor. Brought to you by our friends at Eminem Trust. Visit the winning team at Eminem Trust and let them develop a game plan for your money. Located on North Antrim Way right here in Greencastle, Eminem Trust is the right call for banking done your way. And they are proud partners of Blue Devil Football. Okay, folks, we still have a set of keys. It was found at the primary end of the stadium. Now we have a cell phone that was found at the concession stand end of the stadium by the flagpole. Bowers in the kickoff. They feel in that 13 pain shoot. Some able to play by 41, Raul Luna. Kick off brought back to the Shippensburg 31 yard line, first and 10 from there. Loose ball to the Greyhound backfield. Recovered by number eight, Brady McChesty. Loss of five yards on the play brings up a second and 15. Ball back at the 27 yard line.
Put down to number 10, Mark Brothers. Marilyn on the stop. Penalty flag on the play. After the penalty is assessed, football placed down at the Blue Devil 42 yard line, first and 10 check. Flags on the play. Terrible call. If you can't keep up the play, quit. You shouldn't have to talk about it. You made the call. Procedure penalty to call against Chickensburg. First car penalty against Green Castle Anthem. And then an unsportsmanlike like conduct call against the Blue First and ten, Chippensburg at the Blue Devil 27 yard line. Down. United State in the ball carrier. Somebody over play by number seven, Blake Diller. Gain of about a yard on the play, second and nine. Football is at the Blue Devil 26 yard line. Initial contact on the play by number 80, Sal Bangora. He had help from 48, that's J.D. Flynn. Gain a yard on the play, third down and eight. At the Blue Devil, 25 yard line. Jesse's pass is complete. Mentor on the reception. Stop me on the play by number six, Jared Blue Ball. Day of three yards on the play. Football is at the Blue Devil 22. Fourth down and five to go.
The Jesse wrapped up in his own backfield, leading the way. Great tackling technique once again by 75, Parker Funk. Good Evans take over possession of the football on downs, first and 10. I do own 27 yard line. Hand off to number two, Xavier Renzi. Stop making the play by number seven, Jaden Hines. After this play, we'll announce a very large 50-50 prize. Get your tickets out now. You're going to want to hear this. Second down. Hand off to number two, Xavier Ramsey. Stop making the play for number five, Nick Scott. Gain of one third and a yard for the Blue Devils. $578 is our 50-50. I'll say it again. $578 to the winner. Please bring your winning ticket to the press box. And off the Cody Furry, first down, Blue Devil. Winning 50-50 ticket number. 496 one six zero. Once again, four nine six one six zero. And again, four nine six one six zero. Carter pins the ball carrier. Donnie Norio on the tackle. Gain of about a yard, second and nine. Once again, the winning prize, 50-50, 578 $578. That number, 496160. Ramsey, the ball carrier. Stopping there by a host of Greyhound defenders. Led by 16, Donnie Norrie. Gain of two yards on the play brings up a third and seven. Football is at the Blue Devil 43 yard line. Timeout called by the Blue Devils. We're going to have to check this one out, but it does match up. We do have a winner. Get a good look at it. And follow him for the concession stand for the VFW. I didn't say that out loud. Play resumes third and six Blue Devils. Correction third and seven. Pass complete to McCauley, penalty flag on the play.
4883 preliminary indication call against the Blue Devils. That penalty has been declined. Fourth down. Loss of a yard on that last play brings up a fourth and eight. Football back up to the Blue Devil 42 yard line. Andrew Bowers in the punt. Fielded by Kagan Shoke. Initial contact with the play by 26, Trent Merrill. First and 10, Shippensburg. Football plays down at their own 26 yard line. And off the 45, Patrick Eichelberger. Subbing on the play by 11, that's Carter McCauley. Play results in a first down for Shippensburg. First and 10 from their own 37 yard line. Taken with the football. Stop made on the play by J.D. Flynn. Gain of four yards brings one yard line. Michael Berger, the ball carrier. Logan Shifflin on the stop. Gain of four yards on the play brings up a third and two at the 45 yard line. And off to number six, Janai Stadium. Stop made on the play by number 80, that's Sal Bangora. First and 10, the Greyhounds. Football inside, Blue Devil territory at the 47 yard line. Michael Berger, the ball carrier, Logan Shifflett once again on the stop. Okay, it's time for all the cheerleader leader dads to start stretching out. Fourth quarter features our cheerleader dads. You better get ready for this. But I do need a ball carrier. Trent Merrill on the tackle. Play good for a Shippensburg first down. First and 10 of the Blue Devil 31 yard line. And off the 45, Patrick Eichelberger. 
Starting on the grave by Logan Shepard along with J.D. Clay. Six yards going to carry. Second and six. At the blue level 20. United Stadium with the football. Parker Funk on the stop. The play results in a first down for the Greyhounds. Just inside the 21 yard line of the Blue Devils. And up to 22, Makai Dudney. Number six, Garrett, blue ball in the stop. Gain a three yards, second down. Stay in with the football. Number seven, Blake Diller on the tackle. Timeout called by the Blue Devils. Once again, we have a set of keys that was found on the primary end of the field, the stadium. A cell phone was found by the flag court area. Calls are currently coming in. Play resumes first and goal, Shippensburg at the nine-yard line. And off to number six, Jenai Statham. Michael Berger, the ball carrier. Tripped up on the play by 41, Raul Luna. Official timeout. Third for the injured Blue Devil on the play, number seven, Blake Diller, able to lead the field under his own power. Play resumes. It's going to be third and goal from the one yard line. And off to number six, Jani Stadium. Touchdown, Greyhound. Timothy Garvin's extra point kick is up and good. Making the score Green Castle away from 21, Shippensburg 7.
51, Timothy Garvin in to kick off. Deepest to receive 26, Trent Merrillac. The golf sails into the end zone for a touchback. Number eight, Susano Solomon with the football. As the clock winds down on the third quarter of play, the score, Greencastle Antrim 21, Shippensburg 7. This announcement, ladies and gentlemen, at one point tonight he was on the sidelines, but he's somewhere in the stadium. We'd like to welcome back one of Greencastle's favorite sons, the starting place kicker for the United States Naval Academy, Nathan Kirkwood. I see you down there, buddy. We're proud of you. Nathan Kirkwood, welcome back home to Green Castle. As we begin the fourth quarter of play, we have a football second and four from their own 26 yard line. There will be flag on the play. Legal procedure was the call against the Blue Devil. Second and nine coming up. Now he's pass complete to number two, Xavier Ramsey. That's a motley looking crew on the sideline. A dinosaur and a tutu. Look at how these straight passes complete. Fourth down. Fielded by Caden Shope. 
Raul Luna on the tackle. While we have a break in the action, let's introduce our sophomore cheerleaders. Emma Bowers, Avery Hinkle, Leah Hallkeeper, Kinley Myers, Greta Simmons, Kennedy Tripp, Amber Wolfgang, and Maggie Young. Now our juniors, Claire Cordell, Taylor Lesnar, Camille Reigns, Lady Sandbridge, Celeste Solomon, Amaya Testerman, and Bailey Rohide. And off the 22, Makai Dabney. Trent Merrill on the stop. That play results in a Shippensburg first down. First and ten at the Blue Devil 31 yard line. Stop eight for the Blue Devils by 44 11 Shifflet. Michael Berger, the ball carrier. J.D. Flynn on the stop. Play results in the Shippensburg first down, first and ten. The ball is at the 20-yard line. Do need the ball carrier. Uh, made by Gary Blue Ball along with 24 Devin Lewis. Gain of three, second and seven at the 17. Denai Stadium with the football. Initial contact on the play by number 48, J.D. Flynn. Gator Yard on the place, third down and six. Football is at the 16. And off to number 10, Mark Carruthers. Trent Merrillat on the tackle. Fourth and three coming up to Shippensburg. Football has to be on the 13-yard line. Once again, Blue Devil fans, fourth down and three. Flags on the play. Dead ball foul. Offside penalty against the Blue Devils. Penalty results in a first down for Shippensburg. Michael Berger with the football. J.D. Flynn once again on the tackle. And off once again to 45, Patrick Michael Berger. Touchdown, Chippensburg.
Jarwin's extra point kick is up and good. Makes the score green cast away from 21 seconds for 14. Now back to the cheerleaders. Let's hear it for the seniors. Emily Grove. Callie Hall. And the captains, Emily Kretzer and Brooke Smith. As always, great job, cheerleaders. Great job, cheer dads. Darwin in to kick off. Susano Solomon deep. Twenty six Trent Marillac when the kick return. Some angle to play by forty three Christian Renner. Christian Ten Blue Devils. Football plays down at their own twenty six yard line. And out to number two, Xavier Ramsey. Driver on the stop. Game of about two yards on the play brings up a second and eight. Football is at the Blue Devil 28 yard line. Other teams of all carry. Stopping there by a host of Greyhound defenders. Lost a few yards in the play, brings up a third and ten. The ball back at the lead of the 26 yard line. Complete the number five, Carter Cole. First down, Blue Devils. And off to 45, 30 for Ree. Gain of a yard on the play. Forty-three Christian Winner on the tackle. Number five, Kirby Carter is the ball carry. Thank <laughs> you. 
Curry flag on the play, dead ball foul. The key gives Kennedy the call against the great effort. After the penalty is assessed, it brings up a third and nine. First and ten, Blue Devils. Football in Greyhound territory. Resting at the 36 yard line. Hand off to number two, Xavier Ramsey. Once again, we've got a set of keys and we have a cell phone. You lost, lost a set of keys on the primary school end of the stadium. We have your keys up here in the press box. We also have a cell phone. This cell phone was found by the Black Court area at the concession stand. We have a phone and a set of keys in the press box. Thank you. Play resume second and 11, Blue Devils. Football at the Greyhound 47. Penalty flag in the play, false start the call against the Blue Devils. After the penalty is assessed, he brings up a second and 16. Back in Blue Devil territory at the 48. And off to number two, Xavier Ramsey. 51 penalty driver on the tackle. Timeout called by Sippensburg. Falls incomplete. Fourth down. Oh, 
Andrew Bowers in punt formation for the Blue Devils. Didn't see a call. Down by number 60, Michael Grattan for the Great Evans. Shepherdsburg starts their possession first and 10 from their own 42 yard line. Jimmy the Rock Barrier wrapped up by 75 Parker Clark. Official timeout. <laughs> 75 Parker Clark up and off the field. Blue game on the last play, second and ten. <laughs> Stay in the ball there. Garrett Blue Ball to tackle, first and ten, ship is right. Do need the ball carrier. Parker Funk on his stop. No game on the play. Pressure to gain one on the play, second and nine. Staying with the football. Game four yards brings up a third and five. Football at the 34 yard line. And after number six, Jedi Stadium. Initial contact on number 41, Yahoo Luna. Timeout called by Shippensburg. That is their final timeout. Play does resume. It's going to be fourth and three for Shippensburg. Football resting at the Blue Devil 32 yard line. Fourth down and three. Greyhound. Number 
There you have it, a big win for the Blue Devils tonight. Final score once again from Cali Field. The Blue Devils of Green Castle and from 21 Shippensburg, 14. As I said before, this was a tremendous high school football game played by two very competitive football teams. We'll wait to see where we go next week. But as always, thank you for supporting Green Castle and from Blue Devil Football. Drive safely and have a great evening.
Oh, I don't know how to act. Thank you. 